the question arises and uh, we must investigate also what is the law of South Africa says. How can a city in South Africa be 80% foreign nationals? That is dangerous. That in Hillbro and the surrounding areas South Africans have surrendered their own city to the foreign nationals. The nation should discuss that particular question. You won't find South Africans in other countries dominating a city into 80%. Because if we do not debate that, that necessarily means the whole South Africa could be 80% dominated by foreign nationals. And the future president of South Africa could be a foreign national. Mm -hmm. We are surrounding our land. And, and, and it is not xenophobia yeah. to talk truth. We fought for this land. Mm -hmm. From a white minority, we cannot surrender it to the foreign nationals. That is a matter of principles. We fought for this country, not only for us, for the generations of South Africans. The arms that are being used here in Hillbro are arms of war, mm -hmm. which are unlicensed. The hijacking of buildings <coughs> here in Hillbro is a sign of taking over power. The question of dominance of foreign nationals in illegal trading and also businesses that are here in Hebrew is an economic sabotage that is taking place against our people that were supposed to be those that are running those particular businesses. We are facing here service delivery protests that we don't know where are coming from. Some of the issues is because of we can't give shelter to our people because these buildings are being occupied and hijacked by people and lunatics that we don't know, where we can be housing at least the middle class that is working <coughs> here. Those who are coming from universities, they are having at least less enough to buy their own houses. And then they can rent from the state and then start a new life, you know, and invest and buy a proper house in future. But we can't do it because of these buildings hijacked by criminals. People are being raped there. You know, there's drug dealing there. There are, there are illegal shippings there. You know, there is second-hand goods among uh, businesses of stolen goods, by the way, and all sorts of criminal activities. And we must do something about it. I want to ask the nation, South Africa, and the so-called human rights activists and organizations, what must the police do when they are shot at by criminals? Must they sink or they must return fire? We are losing police officers day in, day out. But we are protecting criminals that are terrorizing our communities. We are 52 million people. If each and every of us can be a police officer and fight against crime, we will squeeze crime in South Africa.